Yo, what's good on today's video? Got a definitely a very useful command. A little, definitely a little more complex than other commands, but not that much. Got to make a how to make a server lock command. Obviously, I will include um how to make like you know obviously I'm not gonna make a separate video for how to make an un server lock command. I'll include that in this video. If I ever did that in the past, I honestly forgot. I know I did that before like in a video where like I, I forgot to. I did that. I think I, I think I did that like twice. Like I forgot to show y'all how to do like to undo what you already did, and that's my fault. But yeah. So I'll show you guys how to make a server lock command. You say server lock, and pretty much um, no player will be able to re-enter the server. I mean, no player will be able to enter the server. If someone obviously leaves and tries to come back, they won't be able to get into the server. Only the people who are in the server before the command is uh, you know, said will be able to, you know, be in the server and stuff. So yeah. Let's head on over to server script service and enter a server script. You guys can call this uh, server server lock script I guess delete print hello world this time I'm gonna need two variables first up is local allowed users so pretty much gonna make a table of all the allowed users so local allowed users is equal to special brackets put your username here in quotation marks spy did 18 then second variable local uh you could really call this like server lock or should server be locked uh, I'm gonna just keep it to server lock local server lock is equal to, and then of course the default value set it to false because by default the server should be locked unless that's how your game works. But anyway, um, gonna do game dot players dot player added colon connect function in parentheses put plr which is for the player who joined. Then before I do the uh the player chatted event, I'm I mean player chatted function. I'm going to check if the uh, server is locked before we proceed. So pretty much if server lock is equal to true, then player kick and then you can type your own message uh play kick the server is currently locked it's currently locked uh please try again later try again later yeah so so yes like a message kind of like that right then press enter on the outside put some space in between it right then now for the player chatted message so player <coughs> dot chatted colon connect function in parentheses put msg which is for the message then press enter then gonna check if the player is a member of the allowed users. So if table dot find is equal to allowed, I do this every single time. Allowed users um player dot name. Then we're gonna break up the uh, message by doing local args is equal to string dot split message comma quotation mark space. Then do if args one bracket one is equal to then this should be the command so uh I guess it's server lock I guess so server lock press enter then pretty much then pretty much all you gotta do well actually not gonna lie you technically don't have to break up the message because it is just a like it's just a one command thing because you're not locked because all you're doing is you're just locking server like there's no need for a username a direct like so you could really just yeah, you could really just do if message is equal to server lock. Not gonna lie, you could do that. That could save time, but I, I think it's just best just to do it like this, so because most of the time you will need to do it this way. But anyway, so if it's so if the uh, first message is equal to server lock, then um, I'm gonna lock the server. We're gonna pretty much, all we gotta do is literally set server lock is equal to true. That's that's it. It is literally that simple. It is literally just that simple. Nothing more to do. Except for the unserver lock, of course. So else if r one is equal to unserver, I hate because I don't want to do it like this. I don't, I don't like that. Like like how the it's cap. I'm just gonna do it like this. Unserver lock. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it like that. Yeah. Un. That looks goof. You know what? Okay. Okay. It don't. It don't matter. It don't matter. Unserver lock. Right. Unserver lock. So else if un is equal to unserver lock, then set server lock to false. And that's simple. Um, now, like, uh, I can't really show y'all because it's like, yeah, I can't really show y'all because it's like, I would need a test and I just don't really feel like having to do, do that and stuff. But, um, okay, so pretty, actually, no, I can actually, uh, yeah, I can. Not necessarily how it, not necessarily exactly how it would be used, but look. Okay, so I obviously, I joined the game. That's all good, right? Now, if I set this to true from the scripts, right? Just just demonstrating that if the value is set to true, this will happen. 
Yeah. See, server kick message, the server is currently locked. Please try again later. Yeah. That pretty much what happened to a player who tried to join. But obviously, by default, you guys should obviously have this set to false. I was just demonstrating it for you guys. But yeah, let's see if we can server lock command. Very simple, very easy. As always, the script will be in the description if you need it. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Thank you all for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys.